Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, there was an earthquake, a magnitude 3.2, 56 kilometers south of White Cities, New Mexico. Back on August 24, 2011, there was an article uh, that was posted saying that earthquakes above a 4.5 were unlikely in central Texas. I would have to disagree about this. Another paper I found says that between 1847 and 1994, there were more than 110 earthquakes recorded of a magnitude 3 or greater in Texas. No earthquakes have exceeded a magnitude 6.0, and most of them have been fairly small and caused little or no, no damage. Since 1994 until recently, um, there's probably been over a thousand earthquakes. Yeah, earthquakes have been increasing. In the last week, seven days, there has been eight earthquakes in this location. So we have this 3.2, which is five kilometers in depth. So that would be about 3.1 miles in depth. There was also a 3.0 on the 18th. 63 people reported feeling that one. It also was five kilometers in depth. There was a 2.5. Uh, that was on the 19th yesterday. No one reported feeling that, and that was also five kilometers. And also on the 19th, there was a magnitude 2.2. Three people reported feeling this earthquake. I think uh, most people probably are not reporting them. So using Google Earth, I plotted out these recent earthquakes. Um, here we do have a 4.0. That was last year, September 30th. Here we have Midland and Odessa. We have the 2.2. .2. Uh, that was reported yesterday on the 19th. And then we have the 3.0. Uh, that one was the day before on the 18th. Let me come over here to these other ones. All right. So we have a 3.2. That one was today. A 3.0. Uh, that was on the uh, 26th of May. And then there was a 5.0. Now that was March 26th of this year. So to say that uh, 4.5s or greater are um, unlikely, there is a chance of them. And I'm going to show you some of these other historical earthquakes that we had there in Texas. Up here in the Panhandle, back in 1936, there was a significant earthquake, an intensity level of 6. Uh, they don't have a magnitude for that. In 1914 and in 1925, in this location uh, near Pampa, uh, intensity level also of 6. In 1907, another significant earthquake. I don't know the magnitude uh, because it was so long ago. But it was intense enough to cause damage. I'm going to show you some of the other significant earthquakes that they've had there in Texas. And we'll come down here. Let's see here. This area here in 1931 was probably one of the largest earthquakes that they've had. It was either a 6.0 or a 5.8. And then over here, let me bring this out, in 1995, there was a magnitude 5.7 earthquake, remote location. Going southeast near Dallas and Houston, 1932, there was um, an earthquake. No magnitude was given, but chimney bricks and that were not well mortared um, collapsed. At least four chimneys at different churches collapsed. People inside and outside of buildings reported feeling this earthquake. Here we got Fairfield, uh, Wortham, and Mexia, I guess it is. I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. 
Let me come out to these other ones. Uh, 1891. Now that wasn't very large. It only had an intensity level of 3. Let me zoom in to show you this location. We got some towns, Friday and Lacey. And the reason I'm showing you these past earthquakes is history has a tendency of repeating itself. Uh, uh, 1914, an intensity level near Richards of 4. Um, 1887, also an intensity level of 4. And that would be uh, by College Station and Macmillan. I'm pronouncing that wrong, that's for sure. And 1910, intensity level of 4, which is not far from the woodlands. And then down here, this is probably one of the first um, oil-induced earthquakes that was reported on this paper. I'll show you in a minute. In 1925, um, they feel it was subsidence because of the oil being extracted and made the ground drop and caused um, a fairly significant earthquake. The Valentine earthquake, I would call it, in 1931 was probably the largest one. That was probably a magnitude 6.0 in 1931. Adobe buildings suffered the most, although cement and brick walls were in the same case badly cracked. In one case, a section of a low wall of reinforced concrete was broken and thrown down. All but framed houses were badly damaged and all brick chimneys toppled or were badly damaged. The schoolhouse, consisting of one section built of blocks and another of brick, was reported to require a complete rebuild. I guess it was destroyed. Um, tombstones were rotated in both directions. Can you imagine that? In some instances, as much as a quarter of a turn. An earthquake on April 9, 1932. Shocks were felt in Limestone, Navarro Hills, Freestones, and McLean counties. Over 8,000 square kilometer areas. Crim chimney bricks not well mortared fell from at least the four of the churches. I read you that one. There was another one in 1936 uh, where a man was knocked off his heat, feet and houses were strongly jarred, it says. I guess some of them moved on their foundation. Another one in 1948, but I wanted to show you the um, other ones. July 30th of 1925, uh, the felt area is roughly um, to a major axis orientation east, northeast, southwest, about 100 kilometers, and the minor axis about 50 kilometers, uh, 700,000 square miles. And it talks about things that were knocked off the shelves, um, railroad damage because of subsidence. March 7th, 1925 maybe, or I don't know. Uh, they didn't put an exact date in here. It says earthquake occurred the, near the Goose Creek oil field on San Jacinto Bay east of Houston, Texas in the mid-1920s. The event may have been attributed to ground subsidence resulting from oil removal. And this list of earthquakes goes all the way back to 1873 and up to October 1983. A real interesting read. Now the other day when I was talking about the New Madrid Fault Zone, I talked about the Cambrian Rift. This is an ancient rift when the uh, continents collided. And you notice that we got earthquakes that come up along here and also up along here. And there is an area. Um, I thought I drew it out. Oh yeah, I did. Um, this is an area of rhyolite. Ancient volcanic flows of rhyolite throughout this whole red circle. So there has been at least, at least one magnitude 6.0 earthquake in the past. And like I said, we're supposed to learn from the past. And with all the 
increase in earthquakes and volcanic activity, I would not be surprised if it happens again. So thank you for watching. Uh, please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.